Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So, as you will see over the last couple of videos, I started my videos a little bit different. I'm going to carry this on. Puts me in the mood for videos, gets my energy up a little bit. Just trying to bring a bit more energy to the channel. I uh, don't want it so like flatlined. So, I'm going to start my videos off all a little bit different. Uh, so, some will be the same as the last time, but I'm just kind of keeping it a little bit different. I want to bring more energy to the channel, which I'm going to do. Uh, video on video. I just want to kind of put a little bit of a signature to it, a little bit different from everyone else's. So if you follow the channel, um, you will have seen me cut the pastel clown to pastel spot nose clown. Uh, the babies are all out. I've given them a wash, so we're gonna have a close look at them. Uh, odds wise, really pleased with it. Um, Joe is out on two of them, as I'm gonna discuss on the video. So we'll take a close look at them. I just wanted to say the next cutting video. Is going to be 10 eggs from a double het albino pied to an albino het for pied. Long story, but um, this I've owned this female for many years and she's never hatched even albino. So this is going to be the last time I do this pairing unless an al at least an albino comes out. If she doesn't hit one this season with 10 eggs, I'm going to write her up as just a het for pied. Uh, and then the second part of that video was going to be a really big deal to me. It was a double head, no, it was an orange dream double head clown pied to a pied. That was the disaster clutch. I got five slugs and one egg. Unfortunately, the egg is is basically going mouldy. I've candled it. It's got black veins. It's doomed. So for every good clutch, there seems to be a bit of a a bad clutch or a or a or a disaster. So unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to go too much into it, but the Orange Dream Clown and the Orange Dream Pie project, I seem to have tremendous bad luck. If you follow the channel, you will have heard me spoke about it. I just can't, I just can't do it for some reason. Uh, I either get babies that hatch deformed, baby uh, eggs that go mouldy in incubation, and slugs. Uh, all my other clutches are pretty slug free for the most part. So I, I don't know if to just walk away from that uh, kind of that kind of um, combination. Just seems to have tremendous bad luck. I don't really think I deserve it, but it is what it is. Um, now, what some of you might be thinking, there might be uh, a problem with the male or a problem with the female. I've done several different males to several different females. I've bought males from Aussie, from Justin, um, so different parts of the world. I've really tried everything I just seem to be jinxed so next year I might try it one more time but I should have been hatching uh, orange dream pieds and orange dream clams over three years ago I should have been actually hatching them three years ago so it's really set me back so I just wanted to talk about that really because so if, if I only kind of tell you all the good things you kind of think you know I'm super super lucky and everything's the perfect ending when it when it's certainly not so reporting the bad stuff as well kind of just brings brings it all back to reality i guess but anyway no more bad vibes let's check this clutch out really really excited Boosh. hey guys and i'm back so i have sexed all these off camera and what i do typically with babies is i give them i, I kind of just sex them when they come out the egg and then excuse me <clears throat> Hey guys, so I'm back. So it kind of in, in reverse order. I believe this is just to be a straight clown. It's got a really funky pattern up top. Uh, it's, these have kind of got me a little bit baffled because they're kind of not, nothing like anything I've ever hatched before when it comes to straight clowns. I don't know if it's kind of the spot nose influence, but I don't think that's a spot nose. What do you guys think? Um, it's always really bold really bold pattern and then as it comes further down here it just looks kind of more typical clown really strange but i have sexed all these off camera and they're all sexing female uh, which if that's the case then that's absolutely amazing uh i've what i do typically is i sex them when they're out the egg and then i double check them after they've had two or three meals but i'm good at sexing and i don't normally get it wrong so for now, I do think they are all females, but we'll obviously double check. So that's baby number one. Um, and just to clarify, because a couple of people has asked, did anybody win the competition? No, they didn't. It was a hard one, so I'll do some more, uh, but I'll make them a little bit easier. So there's baby number one. 
here's baby number two so i just got some vermiculite stuck to my fingers so again really really busy um not like the clowns i typically hatch uh, the, the female the mother of this clutch was homegrown but the female uh, but the male wasn't i bought him from justin so it's maybe the male's influence they are nice but then just not like i'm used to hatching don't think that's a spot nose. Let me know what you guys think. I don't think, I think the head kind of is the telltale sign. I'll double check these, but um, if it is a spot nose clown, then that explains why they're so different, but I'm not convinced they are. So there's baby number two. And here's number three. This little girl is absolutely smoking. The yellows on her are, are incredible. One sec guys, sorry. Just, I'm gonna get all these bits off my hand. So, this little female is absolutely stunning. I'm just trying to see if the camera's in focus. I hope it is. Uh, she's absolutely smoking. Her yellows are so incredibly, uh, like a really beautiful yellow color. And the whites, it's like mother of pearl in the teardrops. She's got a cracking little, uh, head pattern so I don't really have a use for this female so she will be up for sale now I've got a lot of people asking about the price of these uh, so if you want to ask just get in contact and I'll send you the prices across so that's baby number three so here's number four cracking little killer clown now again very different to what I normally hatch. Uh, they're a lot more busy. I don't think this is a spot nose in it. It's got still a little bit of a button from the umbilicus cord. Gorgeous, these silvery blues. Just, well, sort of like a silvery gunmetal bluey grey colour. Just absolutely stunning. I'm really, really pleased with this clutch. To kick my season off like this is a fantastic start. Really gorgeous, very, very symmetrical head. Love that. So there's number, was it? No, that's number four. Here's number five. Another killer clown. Again, don't think it's got spot nose in it. But I look back on the other killer clowns I've hatched and these are just, you'd think you'd think they had a leopard in them. They don't. They can't have because it was a pastel clown to a pastel spot nose clown. And if the pastel spot nose clown had leopard in it, it would obviously be a Batman. Which hopefully I'll be hating Batmans this year. So, there's baby number five. Again, female. And all the killer clowns, uh, both the killer clowns will be up for sale. And then last but absolutely no means the least is whoops wrong one <laughs> last but no means least this has definitely got spot nose in it so look at that head you get all these little um, flecks of pattern and then this almost like blushed out scale uh, blushed out it looks a bit like scaleless head and just just amps the colour up. The uh, the to put them side by side for a bit of a comparison. There's not loads in it. I must admit, there's not loads in it, but you kind of see if them two aren't spot nose, and I don't think they are. Obviously, this one definitely is, but you kind of see uh, they're really good example of killer clowns for busy ones anyway. Um, this is amazing. Instead of like the the whites, you get this like uh, silvery grey colour. So this female will can be up for sale. Uh, I'm setting a price on her. If she sells, she sells. If she doesn't, she's staying here. And the only reason I'm thinking about letting her go is because I can hatch more of these this year. So obviously, if I sell her and I don't hatch some, then I'll be kicking myself. But 
I have quite a few clutches this year where I plan hold back, so I can't hold everything back. So for now, all this clutch is up for sale, but the ones that don't sell can stay here. Well, particularly the ones with spot nose in them. So yeah, that's the that's the clutch, guys. I'll give you a bit of an overview of all of them. We'll take a look at all of them. So just to just to get them all in shot so you can appreciate just how beautiful they all are. Look at that colour. Even these guys, they're, they're just nice. So there we go. Go on, get back around there. Play ball. There we go. Oh, sorry guys, the camera angle's not fantastic and there we go so there they all are fantastic clutch really really pleased with that outcome uh like i says they're all they're all up for sale for now and the ones that don't sell can stay here um to to go in my clown army cut the head stamp on that and then this thick ball line love it <laughs> that's just ludicrous well they all are look at them just sat looking at them don't mind that at all. Look at that. If I had to choose one with jeans aside, I don't know which one I choose. <laughs> I don't know. I like them all. They're just stunning. So, yeah. So, I do like that. Anyway, that's enough. Right. Sorry this, guy, uh, sorry this video was a bit wishy-washy. Uh, it's been a while since I had hatchlings, so I'm enjoying looking at them. God, hatching season, you can't be, can you? Right, guys, I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it two thumbs down, and I'll holler at you next time. Ciao.